Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So I want to do a quick video today to talk about the toroid wrap in the Coffee and Ham Radio's Poseidon. That is our newest antenna. It's a vertical antenna, and it uses a 4 to 1 unun to do the transformation. And I did a video the other day on it and uh, showed my build, and... A bunch of y'all have watched it, and I've had a couple, three comments and some questions, and I kind of messed up when I was doing the video in what I said. Um, I did catch a couple of mistakes, and I went back and, and edited those in, but I wanted to talk about the toroid specifically. So what I've done is wrap this toroid with some red and black speaker wire and demo this for y'all. When you wrap the toroid, you've got two magnet wires that you're using to do the wrap, and we have to do eight wraps, all right? And a wrap is one time through the center. And so you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times through the center. So that's eight, eight wraps, two wires a piece. When you get the build instructions, it says to take the two center wires and connect them together. And I ended up getting my wires crossed, and I want to or show you all what it's supposed to be like, and I'm using the colored wires to make that point. So when you, when you wrap the toroid, and you'll notice here that the red wire is on our right side as we start, okay? This is just a straight black wire. This is the red stripe wire. And as we go around and come around, the wire ends up being on our left side when we get down here. All right, it starts out the red on the right and it ends up the red on the left. When we're talking about hooking the two center wires together, we don't actually mean both red wires. What we're gonna do, and keep in mind that I'm flipping this over so you can see the color. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this wire, the black wire that's on the left as we start on this side, we're starting on the, on the right side, and we're gonna connect it to the red stripe wire on this side, because when you finish the wrap, that wire is going to end up on the inside. Again, remember, I'm I'm having to hold this wire so you can see the red stripe, but this is the red stripe wire. So it's in the center on the left side. Over here on the right side, it's on the right side. So our center wires are going to be this wire and our red stripe wire. Those two wires get connected together. Then one of these becomes our radial and the other one becomes our radiating element. But the point that I really wanted to make with this and demo is that your two inside wires are not the same wire. And this is the mistake that I made the other day. I was thinking they were, and I had gotten them crossed anyway. So when I tested continuity, they tested because I crossed the wire. So they literally were the same wire. But as you go around the toroid, what starts out on the right side here as you can see, ends up over here on the left side. And that's because of the way I've got this zip tied down. Okay. So what you're going to end up with if you had colored wires is you're going to end up with one black wire and one red wire together like so. So they're literally not the same wire. Then we were talking about continuity testing. So if you do a continuity test right now, and you test from the red stripe to the red stripe, obviously you have continuity. If you test the solid black to the solid black, you have continuity. Once we connect these two, now the red stripe and the black are connected. So we're gonna have continuity here, here, and here because they are joined and they're physically the same wire at this point. However, continuity does not take into account the inductance that the toroid puts into the, the system. So, that's how you wrap the toroid, and that's what you should be looking for. And when you're wrapping it, you want to be careful because while this wire is joined together, it, again, it's speaker wire, you want to make sure that you don't get wires crossed over because what will happen, and it happened to me, I missed this part. I ended up hooking the wrong two wires together, and then I wasn't getting my correct transformation on the antenna setup. Once I caught that error, which was back here on the back side, and fixed it, then everything was was golden. Guys, that's all I've got in this video. I didn't want this to be super long. Just wanted to kind of go over 
how that toroid wrap is supposed to work. Thanks, y'all, for watching 73. Have a good one.